if you came here on this planet to uh, awaken your physical body because you're part of Earth, and so therefore, if you can uh, embody Christ consciousness, you also pave the way for many other people to, to follow or to awaken or to have that opportunity as well. When, mm -hmm. when you see your timeline, does that happen? In other words, you might succeed for yourself, which you have already because you have been in that state of Christ consciousness. Um, do you see that it works for others? I don't know how to ask my question. There's many timelines. That the consciousness right? works for others? That the consciousness, the Christ consciousness also was embodied by others. Because there's timelines, right? And here you can have or elsewhere. Here. Um, it can, it does, it happens. It happens. There's not okay. very many people here, but I'll tell you why. Um, the thing that is not understood about Christ consciousness is that it's a it's a spectrum. It's um uh, it's a long stage, a series of stages of unfolding. And the minute you start to wake up, you're stepping into Christ consciousness. And you just get more and more um, aware, awake, and powerful as you go along. You've stepped into it, but you stepped out of it. You didn't stay in that state. Correct? Right. At this time. Okay. You, you wouldn't stay here if you were in that state all the time. And that, I think, is a critical piece for understanding people will say, like myself, much earlier. Um, but, but there's nobody here demonstrating that. So where are they all? So is it real? Or I would it, just take Jesus, for example. Well, cripes, look what they did to him. <laughs> you know, he's dead. And, and so, or some of the other beings that I have met who have that kind of consciousness who come here and and it's clear that it's um i'd say it's an effort for them to do it's it's, it's a bit of a sacrifice um even to come here for a few minutes and so you you end up realizing that the people who want to stay here and have that consciousness are not being that they're not understanding at all what that consciousness does to you because when you get that kind of consciousness or access to it staying here is not the goal <laughs> so and, and so if you only want that kind of consciousness so you can be a superstar or a super soldier or the boss of everybody or the king of the world or have all the money and power that you want that's uh, probably not going to happen because if you've got that kind of consciousness, all of those kinds of goals become meaningless, absolutely meaningless. And so you have to have your eye on a, a different level of being. And then you have to know, and, and you do eventually end up going to some of these places where you realize, oh, there are lots of options lots of places to go, lots of ways to be. And, and so you, you choose, you choose how you want to be. And that then that's your trajectory. That's your own personal, people use the word timeline. Staying here is not the goal once you reach that kind of consciousness. There are other places where reality is much um, smoother, much different, um, and and so and they and there are other things to learn. So, all the people that I run into, not all of them, but quite a few, um, have this kind of illusory view of what higher consciousness is and they don't realize what it does to you and how it changes you and changes your um, your participation and your uh, perception of what's going on here and so and and you don't get that kind of consciousness and then apply it to make more money or have more power or get the the boy that you love or the girl that you love to love you back or to be the king of the world like i said it, those those things are irrelevant those are all programming um, goals that happen here 
and and they're they're just not real when you get even a little bit awake so let me ask you um, this then why so the point of most people being here is not to evolve into that there's another so it's not you're not here to step into no. Christ consciousness to teach others how to do this in one lifetime because then everybody would just poof disappear into other reality system and then what earth would right. need to exist anymore because there would be nobody here well, <laughs> there would still be people here but animals and plants but so yeah. there's a intermediate step in between that isn't there otherwise we'd all just disappear um well let me say it this way to some races of people we don't even exist they don't see us at all um why are we here we come here for a couple reasons one is to be part of a reality system that is very stable that allows us to create whatever kinds of experiences we want and the goal is to enjoy life it's to enjoy the experience it's to have the experience and not very many people are enjoying one darn thing they're just miserable and they think it should be somehow different or other and they don't realize it's up to them to make it different they're afraid to step out of their box or out of their habit or their routine and that's really sad because that's all it takes it's just step out just be sassy for one minute and and look around out there <laughs> and see what's happening and then come back in if you need to and, and just be quiet you know but take in what did you see while you were out of that box for a minute what are the possibilities and as you stay here you begin to learn the basics of any reality system and so we learn the basics of this one and and it changes over time and it's a physical system um, you learn the basics of a physical system everything physical cycles everything physical needs some sort of energy for it to exist or it poof disappears so the people do learn they do enjoy hopefully uh, one of my goals would be to say, you know, if I just got the world to enjoy a little bit of laughter, a little bit of song, a little bit of dance, a little bit of being goofy now and then, I would have succeeded. I would have changed consciousness tremendously. Um, to understand how the mind works, that's a little bit of a bonus. And how consciousness works, um, which then gives you options to go other places and explore and have experiences in those places and to develop yourself and your power life is a system it's a system and it has to be maintained in order for there to be this kind of life as a possibility i hope that makes sense so my next question is so the goal in the end and the end in this lifetime is not necessarily for everyone to achieve Christ consciousness where you can poof and go into other reality system. Yeah. The overall goal perhaps of many lifetimes and billions of years of a being, a, fre a frequency being through incarnations and through experiences in other reality systems and then coming here and going to other places. That's an overall goal, but it's not necessarily something that everybody needs to right now in this timeline and this in this form, say, I need to reach Christ consciousness now, like within the next 40 years. That is, that's not necessarily what the goal is. No, it's not. And some people are here just to maintain the reality so that others can come here and experience a physical reality. That's why we have children. They grow up. They're not, a lot of them are not um, they're not in Christ consciousness. Well, maybe they are <laughs> closer to it than we are for, uh, for a lot of adults. But um, children, we give birth to children. And we keep the whole system going and it stays open for people to come here. There's a vehicle. The body is a vehicle. You park your consciousness in that body. Depending on where you park it, you can have all kinds of experiences. So the goal is the enjoyment of life. And the ability to practice creating and applying love in this time and place here. That's really the bottom line. 
So the expansion of consciousness so that you can go elsewhere, yeah, that does bring you to um, a much more, uh, I'm going to say, it does bring you to more power. There's just no other way to say it. And when you step into some of those states of consciousness, you're different. You don't see this place the same. You don't feel the same. You don't experience things the way other people do. Um, and that just, and people do not anticipate how powerfully those states of consciousness change what you are about and what you know. And of course, there's a, a wide range of people. They're going to take some of that and they're going to um, they're going to go and love on their grandchildren or their children or their neighbor or their pet or whatever, um, just because they're, they're in love. They all of a sudden they understand what love is. Others are like, wow, I want to go exploring. I want to be on the next UFO out of here, the next, well, yeah, UFO out of here. I want to see the world. Other people are, I'm not the least bit interested in what's going on out there. I'm interested in what's going on here. And they build little businesses and they build big businesses and they, all kinds of equipment, amazing equipment. And, and that equipment then teaches them. And so it's, it's a place where the diversity is enormous. And I love that about this place. It's not quite so diverse in some other places. Um, and it's not quite as stable. This place is stable. You can be driving your car and, and your consciousness is 10, 10 miles or 10 years away doing something that you were doing 10 years ago and you're on automatic driving your car. When you come back, you're still in that car. You're still on that highway. Hopefully nobody hit you <laughs> or nobody drove in front of you. Um, but it's still all there. And there's quite a few realities uh, that are not stable that you get into and it changes just like a dream. You're thinking this and you have this side thought and all of a sudden you're in that and you're caught up in that and it's you forgot about what you were just doing. It wasn't real. And that's part of the message is that the whole thing is very, very flexible. It's very changeable. Um, you have to decide how do you want to be? What do you want to explore? What do you want to experience? <laughs>